Hi, my name is Senya and I am a Bachelor of Arts and Diploma of Languages student at Monash University. Today I'm going to talk about why I chose to study arts at Monash, student life, global immersion guarantee, internships, and how my arts degree has prepared me for my career. I hope this video will give you a better understanding of what Monash Arts is all about and what university life is like. Enjoy! In high school, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to specialize in. I was interested in languages, journalism, and Asian culture, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, so I chose arts because it includes history, geography, sociology, politics, media and communications, international relations, performing arts, philosophy, and even more. I definitely think an arts degree allows you to pick what you're passionate about. What I love about the arts is that you get to create your own journey. In your first year, you can explore what areas of study you want to pursue. In the Monash Bachelor of Arts, you have the freedom to choose from over 30 areas of study. There's something for everyone and there are no prerequisites. So if you've never studied bioethics or international studies, it doesn't matter. For those of you who are not aware, Monash is ranked in the top 100 universities in the world and ranked number one for the most innovative university in Australia. In arts and humanities, it's 29th in the world for philosophy, 47th for English language and literature, and 61st in the world for languages. I chose to study at Monash University because the Monash Arts model was really unique, and Monash offered such a wide breadth of subjects. There are over 100 study options to choose from. You can study a single degree, like the Bachelor of Arts, Global Studies, Music, Media Communication, Criminology, criminology and policing, or politics, philosophy, and economics. Or you can do a double degree, like arts and business, arts and law, or arts and science. Some universities don't offer double degrees. By studying across two different fields, you'll be able to diversify your skill base and graduate with more career flexibility and opportunities. It may take two years less to complete than if you studied the courses separately, saving you both time and money. I chose a Bachelor of Arts degree with a Diploma of Languages, which has been extremely rewarding. Monash offers a combined Bachelor's degree and Master's degree. You can complete both degrees in just four years. So here is the Clayton campus. I absolutely adore it. It is so big, it even has its own postcode. The campus has hairdressers, supermarkets, news agents, and over 20 restaurants and cafes, even a gong cha. There's always something fun happening at Monash, and some of my best Monash memories are from Orientation Week, Summerfest, and concerts and performances, so I highly recommend attending all of these events if you can. What I love about the Bachelor of Arts at Monash is that it is so career focused. There's a special program called Professional Futures that gives students amazing job skills, such as professional experience with internships, innovation, global immersion experiences, and intercultural expertise. So first, the professional experiences. I have had not one, not two, but five internships at government, private and non-government organisations. I did a two-month internship at In Clover magazine, where I got to create news reports for social media and the website, attend virtual press conferences and write articles for the printed magazine issue. I was also fortunate enough to be a youth press gallery participant for YMCA Victoria, which is a program aimed at young people who have an interest in political journalism, photography, and filming. I was with them for nine months. I also completed an internship with the Australian Centre for Education and Training for four months. I was able to gain insight into corporate social responsibility initiatives and digital operations, as well as develop my project management skills. Monash offers students transformative international educational experiences, regardless of your financial needs. One of the reasons I chose Monash Arts was because of the award-winning Global Immersion Guarantee, also known as GIG. GIG is a unique field trip unit that all eligible Monash Arts students can do at the end of their first year, and your airfare and accommodation are paid for. All you need is some pocket money. GIG is about innovating and putting your degree into practice by responding to some of the world's most challenging issues. The places that you may get to visit are Fiji, the Pacific Islands, Italy, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, and China. And I went to China. Going to China was an incredibly eye-opening experience for me. I had my conceptions and misconceptions about China absolutely challenged. 
We visited Disneyland Shanghai and had executives talk about food waste. And we also visited collective responsibility and learned about corporate social responsibility. Okay, now to languages. The good thing about studying languages at Monash is that it caters for all levels of language learners, right from beginners to advanced and interpreting and translation. I've made so many connections with Japanese students through the online language conversation programs. We are matched with university students in Japan to develop our conversation skills, fluency in Japanese, and build friendships. It's been so much fun. The Japanese program also hosts a seminar series with industry and people who are connected to Japan. We've had speakers from the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Ernst & Young in Tokyo, Austrade, and Deloitte. These seminars have helped me to better understand how I can apply my Japanese language skills and knowledge of culture, business, and history in the workplace. Monash has exchanged programs with 11 universities, including the University of Tokyo, Osaka University, and Waseda University. I love the Japanese studies program at Monash because it is very hands-on, and it gives you the opportunity to collaborate with people beyond Monash. I recently worked on a group project as part of my unit, Social Institutions and Power in Asia. We were placed into small groups with students from Tohoku University in the Japanese city of Sendai. We had to provide recommendations on how to improve the livability of Sendai or Melbourne through reform of social institutions. I really enjoyed this assessment as I was able to take the knowledge I had gained in language classes and apply it in other parts of the course. I like that we get to work on assessment tasks that help prepare us for the kind of challenges we'll experience in the workplace in the future. Thank you so much for listening to my story and all the best to the year 11 and 12s out there. Remember, there's so much to explore at university. And don't worry if you don't yet know what you want to do. This is just the beginning of your journey. There's something for everyone to belong at Monash. So we can't wait to have you join us. <laughs>